Hi there, my name's Grant Joyner and I'm very excited to talk to you today about El Dorado Token, uh, which is a blockchain community and network. And I really, this is one of the most exciting opportunities that I've spoken about in a very, very long time. So I'm going to walk you through this very short presentation. Stay tuned to the end so you can get some contact details and how to get involved. So El Dorado Token is a blockchain network organized and operated for and in the interest of company investors. Any individual can use this open source application with its own will, but for electronic use only. So they are really, really concentrating on, uh, on company investors here, but also the wider developing community or the developer community that has knowledge or access uh, to use open source applications of which there are literally hundreds and thousands of people, if not millions, around the world. So ERD, which is the symbol for the El Dorado token, uh, is a decentralized and open source cross-platform cryptocurrency. So what does that mean? So cryptocurrency, you might have heard of uh, Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum and all these sorts of buzzwords and we've seen highs and lows and I believe now blockchain uh, sorry Bitcoin is somewhere around eleven thousand dollars it's sitting at um, which is mind-blowing and it's outperforming any standard uh, type of investment where you're getting one two percent of the bank account uh, I'm getting 0.2 I think percent on my interest uh, on my savings so it's really poor and, and this is a, a, new, a new a new way of looking at it so the El Dorado token is ma the maximum supply here is five uh, fifty million. So, you know, it's not not huge numbers. Um, you know, we're not distributing billions upon billions upon billions, and it's on the as I spoke about the, the Ethereum uh, blockchain network. Uh, there are several there, but Ethereum is the more sort of open source and, and open to everyone. Uh, and it's designed to facilitate uh, the exchange of information between blockchains and non-blockchain networks. As in anything in the world, there are sort of open and closed networks. Think of those as open and closed blockchain networks. So this carries across the, the whole lot, and it's a highly secure network. The big buzzword at the moment is all around cybersecurity. Um, so it, it's quantum resistant signature technology. So high, high levels of encryption and high levels of security. So this is an evolution in blockchain systems, creating possibilities to develop a friendly and reliable payment network of cryptocurrency. So, you know, just like you have your debit card uh, or, or credit card, you, you as the purchaser have the card. You've then got the merchant who's got the system to take the to take the payment. Very similar in cryptocurrency. You would hold uh, the the uh, token, so the, the Eldorado token. Uh, and then on the back of that, you would have someone looking to purchase or sell you a good uh, goods for the El Dorado token. So they're built with Ethereum, as we've said it before, smart contracts and quantum resistant technology. Again, really, really secure. You've heard of lots of sort of bit Bitcoins going missing, whatever. These are super secure uh, networks. So really, really important there. <laughs> so. What we're looking at now is, is blockchain is is the key. It's the future. So the an incorruptible digital leader of economic transactions that are programmed to record not just for uh, uh, financial transactions, but anything with value anywhere. So we're not just dealing with your standard. Here's an, an apple. It's a pound. Pay a pound. It's not like that. Blockchain has got a multitude of facets and a multitude of, of options there to run an untold number of items. You know, you've got uh, people here in the UK, like the NHS, looking at blockchain. You've got uh, financial companies, insurance companies, new tech startups. It's being used in many, many, many different ways. A system in which a record of transactions made in Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies is maintained across several computers are, uh, uh, that are linked to a peer-to-peer -peer network. So we're looking at you know Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as well. So we're not, we're not just covering one, and that, that's blockchain. Blockchain, uh, you know, is the largest 
uh, a network. So Bitcoin is the largest blockchain network. I mentioned it earlier. You know, people have heard of Bitcoin. Followed by Ethereum, Bitcoin, Cash, Ripple, Dash and Litecoin. So what, what we're trying to say here is, is your first one is Bitcoin, which is a really, really, whilst it's the largest, that's it's had the most amount of PR. Ethereum hasn't had um, uh, the, the same amount of PR, but it's still a huge, huge network. So the trust blockchain eliminates the need for intermediaries and enables direct transactions among organizations. It establishes a distribute system that can be trusted inherently. So they're taking away some of that um, middleman work there. So it enables direct transactions between organizations. Organization A, organization B. Organization A can pay organization B. There's no middleman, there's nothing in the middle, uh, which is what was required before, where blockchain makes this completely different. It's, it's person to person, organization to organization. Security, blockchain ensures superior security for transactions compared with more traditional IT mechanisms, such as firewalls, encryptions, intrusion detection systems, and packet filters. So as a, a normal Joe blog, you may not have heard of firewalls and things like this, but your home broadband or fiber has a firewall in place to stop those intrusions, those hackers coming in. Uh, this is more than that. This is superior features and technology over and above the standard almost out of date technologies now like firewalls. So those technologies now have been almost bypassed and, and blockchain has a whole new level of security. So IT infrastructure overhead. So because of um, systems today hold off copies of the same system of data, there is a redundant effort spent ensuring integration and reconciliation between systems. So what it's saying there is that you know, we're all too conscious and we can't really get away from the fact that we hold, you know, one piece of data here, a copy of that data here, a copy of that data here, a copy of that data here, which, you know, eats up resource, it eats up time, it eats up security efforts, it, it eats up data allowances. It's just overkill all the time. And this just eliminates that completely. So therefore, your resources can be focused on that one single focal point. So. Now, the Eldorado community, which is, is key to this. Eldorado team is, is, is expertise in providing customized blockchain solutions for your business needs. There are 50 plus mainstream clients being served and it's been maintained for over two years. Now, two years might seem like it's in its infancy, but blockchain uh, is a fairly new technology. So two years, you know, you're, you're, you're well established in that community plus 50 plus mainstream clients. A lot of these blockchain solutions have a handful of clients. So to, to, to sort of muster 50 plus clients is, is something, and that is, that is a community. So it's transforming clients' businesses. So we're not just talking about going in a small change. It is really changing the way that these businesses work and operate. Uh, a unique industry-based consultative approach on blockchain technology helps clients envisage, build and run more efficient and effective businesses. So coming in, looking at how they can develop it with the other other community and really pushing forward your business. Its headquarters are based right here in the UK. So that, you know, that, that's quite key. We're not, we're not outsourcing some of our operations in terms of our, our main headquarters, right based here in the UK. And then you've got Wayland Dalton, who is the CEO and lead blockchain. Uh, Stefan Harra is the CEO and lead blockchain again. And then you've got two others as well. So, you know, you've got a very well established team and all here are lead blockchain. So they've got a wealth of experience in blockchain. We're not just bringing people in that are just looking at, um, you know, I'm new to blockchain. These are leaders and experienced blockchain operators. Eldorado or EDR, as I've said, the symbol. So Eldorado token is EDR, to uh, EDR tokens on the board. So Eldorado team blockchain cryptocurrency solutions introduced a brand new crypto token called EDR token. And that's the key thing. Eldorado token, E-R-D, E-R-D. E-R-D token is a low latency payment platform that requires minimal resources, 
making ERD token ideal for peer-to-peer -peer transactions. One to another, peer-to-peer, -peer, one to another. And that's what this is all about. ERD token involves a customized open source blockchain platform with modification, modifications fit for modern solutions for modern economic problems. So it's taking blockchain and looking at the real world at modern day solutions, not out of date. How can we work yesterday? How can we work today and going forward? It's EDR token is an exclusive and premium product by the expert team and supported by top influences and investors bringing a new light and exposure for project value. So what that's saying is we're bringing in external resource uh, in terms of you know influences and investors, and it's really helping to grow the ERD token and the solutions that are provided. So over long term, ERD tokens expected to add business value to structure and market models of emerging utility markets such as local energy markets. So this is the applications, local energy markets, virtual power plants and energy communities in which traditional utilities or suppliers play roles of a business facilitator. So think of your traditional energy companies here in the UK, uh, I guess the big sort of five or six, EDF, Eon, Npower, British Gas uh, and others, and some small emerging ones. And this is where ERD really takes it takes a, a different light on that. So the token supplier, I talked about it before. So 40%, only 40% are open for direct purchase. So you need to get in there quickly. Um, but maximum supply of 420 million. Um, so that, 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 that's quite a number, but they're gonna go fast. 0.5% um, reserved for, for the team use, as if you would expect a normal uh, dot-com type boom, you know, you reserve some for your own team. 40% 40% will be auto-generated, a giga conversion module. 14% will be released, and a 0.1 for legal and promotion. So it's well spread across there. So after all that and explaining that, I know what you want to know, how do I get an ERD token? So it's exclusively available now, erdtoken.io. That's erdtoken.io. So head over there. There's more information on the website about and how you can actually purchase the token. The tokens will start uh, with an initial price, which will be announced on the website, erdtoken.io, and can be purchased uh, for BTC, ETH or others accordingly. So either uh, the, the different trading platforms, Ethereum, etc. To purchase and store ERD token, you will have to download the mobile app wallet for ERD tokens. So with any purchase of any cryptocurrency, you need a secure wallet where you need to secure passphrases. This is no different. You will need a secure wallet to store your ERD token. You will have a secure ERD token wallet for future purpose, which you can either, sh you can either trade, swap, or pay. Uh, trade, shop, or play. So pay, you, you know, there's a multitude of reasons. You've got your ERD token, you've got your ERD wallet, you can now go ahead and trade it should you want to. Starts to make money, starts to increase, you can then start to trade it, or you can pay with it. So future applications that, that, that are seen as beneficial. Uh, fundamental, uh, Foundational technologies. So it can be viewed as uh, foundational technologies with great potential for distributing within, it, within, within uh, you know, industry ecosystems. So, you know, solar renewable energies, great idea. Vehicle charging, you know, these are other applications outside the traditional energy. You know, solar is becoming huge in this country, although we don't get a lot of sunlight. Um, you know, it's a way to get off grid and vehicle charging. I can't remember the number now. I think it's something like 30% increase in the next five years of, of electric vehicles. You've got your Teslas now coming mainstream, like your, your Model 3s that are now becoming a, a, a more family price point. Uh, BP have started in, installing local uh, charging units or fast charging units at, at petrol stations. So vehicle charging is going to become absolutely huge. Robust and scalable for business. Viable for sustainable business and business opportunities and alliances, and, and you can read through those different opportunities there. So you've got uh, ERD values, build partnerships. So the Eldorado community, 
uh, looks forward to proactive partners with within niche technologies, consulting firms and leading universities to continue to explore blockchain options and ensure they stay ahead of the curve. So looking at all the different options, consulting firms, universities to really garner and gather that information, resource and knowledge to stay ahead of that trend. So thank you very much for watching this presentation. To recap, EDR tokens, so Eldorado, erdtokens.io. Head over there, more information, you can find out more about this presentation, or geteldorado.com as well will give you more information. Thank you much for watching this exciting opportunity. I do hope you get involved. And if there's any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us.